Howdy folks, every garage you should have a tool bench, you know, and every tool bench you need a, <laughs> you should have a vice. It's Monday, this is on sale, let's talk about this. <laughs> yeah, we got a vice in here from Gorner's. Uh, Kind of hard to spell it out, but here it is. G-O-E-H-N-E-R apostrophe S. And we'll say Goners. I'm probably going to butcher the name. I hope not, but uh, the four and a half inch vise is on sale, and it is a good, I'm going to call it a good starter vise because, you know, when you first put your first workshop together or your workbench, a lot of times, or even, a, you know, if you have existing workbenches, but you need a vise that's handy somewhere to get to, something like this might uh, fill the bill. And this one here has some, well, it has some pretty good features. So we're going to take a look at the features because the price is attractive. It's just, it's a good starter vise or, you know, a secondary vise, something like that. It also has the pipe jaws in here. So already it's like, okay, that's got something, you know, none of my other vices have that option. So that's a good thing to have. Oh yeah. yeah so the uh, nice gang over there at Gorner sent this over to us for review and we said, yeah, bring it on. Let's have a look at this vise. And the very first thing, yeah, I think about his price. That's really my thing. And this one's on sale, so we're gonna have like a sale price on it. So that should be pretty, you know, interesting. Uh, we'll have a link down below in the description where you can find the uh, details and also the price on this particular vise. The uh, packaging comes pretty good. It comes with the manual, but it also comes with the mounting some mounting bolts. Now I'm not gonna say that this is the end of all mounting bolts because. These look like they would fit through like a one inch uh, top, something like that. If you needed a longer bolt, obviously off to the hardware store for longer bolts. Cause a lot of times with me, uh, the benches I have sometimes are pretty thick. This would fit probably most of my benches, but not all of them. And you know, again, it's just, it's just nice that they did include some bolts, you know, cause usually you don't get any. Yeah. Uh, the other thing this one has is it has a three year warranty. So that was like, Hmm, that's interesting. It also has the pipe clamp pieces down below here where you can stick something round in here if you're cutting pipe, something like that. Because a lot of times if you ever try to use these jaws on pipe, it's like the pipe pops out or it doesn't sit right. You end up crushing the pipe, trying to get it in to lock it properly, that sort of thing. So having a vise with the two different types of jaw sets on here, that's a nice, that is a good feature, you know. Uh, they did mention lube. So you put some grease on here on the screw if you want to keep this thing around for a long time to use, you know, it, there's some, some machine oil on there right now. I can feel it, but also these jaws, I notice have screws right here. So these jaws could be removed and you could, uh, do different things with the jaws, remove them, make your own jaws, upgrade the jaws, whatever. A lot of us, uh, characters with wood, a lot of times the best thing to do with a vise like this is to make yourself up a little set of wooden jaws that will sit over top of these, just slip in kind of thing. And that way you can hold a piece of wood without, you know, marking it up kind of thing. But just in general, it's, it's just a, it's a tool that we, we all have to have, or we all need and we like, and this is a little anvil back here. I don't need a big anvil. So something like this size right here, even that's fine. You know, it's, I don't need a great big, you know, forging anvil or something for cracking out uh, wagon wheels, you know, <laughs> those days are gone. And the other feature, which uh, most vices seem to have them anyways, but it has the, the routine here. You can unlock it and you can swivel the vise around. That's really handy around a workbench again, because a lot of times the piece you're holding, you want to hold on a certain angle or something to where you're working on it. So having the capability to swivel the vise and pivot it and lock it in a certain spot, a lot of times that's, that's helpful. And so it has the four bolts, but three year warranty. Now the warranty, uh, is something that I didn't think about. So I was kind of surprised to hear three year warranty on these. I was like, well, okay, good. They must think they have a pretty decent vice. The finish is real industrial kind of finish on it. So that's a, that's a good look there. And the screw here is, seems like it's a little tight right now. I would say definitely, you know, put a little grease on it. Uh, I'll tell you what I've used in the past. Hey, comment in below what, uh, what kind of grease you use. I use lithium around my stuff like this. I find lithium grease has less chance of picking up dust and doesn't seem to stick as good to uh, sawdust and other things that are in my shop. And it seems like it's an easier grease to apply and clean and keep it fairly clean. And it does the same nice job of, you know, keeping something like this greased up. So you don't get the rust and all the buildup over time. Uh, 
but I like to hear from other people, see if they have an opinion of any certain, you know, grease that they like. Uh, do not use WD-40, okay? Yeah, don't, no. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, also, this is, you can see this, this is fairly lengthy uh, for the size of ice that it is, so I'm, you know, pretty impressed with that. Obviously, the four and a half inch, that's your jaws right here. This is four and a half inch across here. So, again, seems to have pretty good features, and it's all cast. And it even comes with a little instruction manual about mounting it and using it and that sort of thing. It's only a few pages, not, you know, nothing, nothing too stupid, whatever. But, uh, you know, they, they, now they've got, you know, details about the parts, the vice and that sort of thing. So that's cool. Uh, I don't know in terms of what we all need for a vice because even a small one like this can be great around the shop. It's, it's just handy. You know, it's like, it's kind of like sometimes it's like, it's all you ever need, you know. Uh, big heavy vices are nice to have if you're working on, you know, heavy, you know, industrial size uh, steel or, or whatever it is you're dealing with. And the other thing that a lot of times I like to do is crush something in here where I'm trying to put something together and I have to actually crush it down a little bit. A lot of times the vice will act as a, you know, <clears throat> you know, put a little crush on it, you know. <laughs> yeah. But the, um, it's nice that they sent this over to us and we're taking a look at it and it's like, yeah, you know what? For a little four inch, four and a half inch, for a four and a half inch, pretty handy little guy. So where are we gonna run a screw here? Yeah, I don't recommend putting too much pressure on something like this, but it's at four and a half. And I think we're about, yeah, we're right at the end of the screw right here. So that's about as wide as that jaw should go. So four and a half this way. Yeah, four and a half by four and a half. So it's pretty square, which again is pretty good. For a small vise, you know, again, that's pretty decent. Uh, the other thing I'm going to talk about is recommendations on these things. Let's just flip this over this way for a second. Yeah, uh, always use all four bolts to mount this down because if you only use two bolts or something like that, a lot of times you'll get into something you're pulling real hard on the vise and all of a sudden, bang, you know, the, they will break. So using all four bolts is going to give you a maximum strength for, for a vise of any, any size. And I, I highly recommend make sure you have all four bolt down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next thing I want to look at was the bolts that come with the kit. Uh, these are two inch bolts. I think they're, by the looks of the thread, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a guess. Metric. <laughs> yeah, you know, mm, metric bolts, but that's okay. But they're two inches long, roughly. And so, if your bench is about one inch thick, plus the casting step here on the vise, you should be fine. And one inch, is, uh, one inch thick bench top is usually, you know, pretty close to standard. Now, I do have two bench tops in here that are inch and a half. And if you have inch and a half, you're going to need two and a half inch bolts. In other words, these aren't going to work for you. Uh, which is like I say, it was kind of like a given. The minute I opened the box and saw these bolts, I was like, oh, cool. What do they fit? You know, they're not going to fit. Uh, a lot of work tops are thicker, you know, than that even for some benches. But, uh, at two inches, I'd still say it's a pretty good bolt, but I'll just see if, uh, let's close up over here and I'll just show you exactly how far off we are with this one here. Right here is the thickness of the top of this bench. It's made with uh, two, by, uh, two by tens right across on this workbench. So you figure that's an inch and a half actually. So I'll put the bolt down through the casting here and see if you put it up against the bench like this even, you can see that the thread runs out at exactly here. So in other words, you would never be able to put the nut on at that point. Now you could cut in and relieve the hole or something and then still get your nut and washer on, which I've seen, you know, I've seen a few people do that sort of thing. But the whole thing easier to do is just go to the store and get you some two and a half inch bolts so you can, you know, lock it down. Using the same uh, size bolt, I would say it looked like about a three eighths bolt would probably get you yeah would get you there yeah so i think we've about covered all the features and the the beauty of this product it's a nice product for a very good price i'd say you're getting pretty good looking quality actually for pretty decent quality uh, what i'm going to do is give this away to a viewer one of you guys yeah and so what we're going to do is we're going to do a draw for this and it'll be i'm thinking right now probably next thursday i don't know exactly what date we'll cut the draw off at because it could be next monday or something but uh so i've got other things you know these i've got stuff coming in you know so, huh. 
Shipping has been a little bit weird and slow right now. I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, we've had some really strange times with shipping. So not every product is in that should be in on schedule for, you know, show. Anyways, meantime, let's give this puppy away to a lucky viewer. So how do we get that? Well, we send an email. The email goes to ctrewards at gmx.com. I will put that down in the subject line as well, besides the link for this, but I'll also put the uh, email address down there so you can, you know, hopefully you can find the link down there to find me. Now, in the subject of the email, we're just going to write VICE, V-I-S-E. We do this all the time. Most of the people who watch the show will know, oh, yeah, I know exactly where this is going. In the body of the email, just your name and address, as if you're doing like a postal return address, something like that, complete with zip code, yeah, you know. And uh, we'll draw tickets, one, uh, one per household, okay? One entry per household, yeah. And we'll draw tickets uh, Monday, Thursday, next week or something. And some lucky viewer will have himself a brand new Go Near Vice, yes. It'll be awesome, yeah, you will have it. <laughs> I'll have to ship it priority post or something because it weighs, uh, it's, it's, it's heavy. <laughs> but you'll get everything here and we'll pack her up as good as we can. Maybe some extra bubble, bubble pack, I don't know, so you can sit there and pop, pop at night. But we'll get this out to you and uh, somebody will have a nice four and a half inch work vice for their workbench, yeah. And it's a, it's a nice model. So uh, let's see, what else we gotta do? We gotta get out of here. It is hot down in Southern Texas again today. Wow, we had heat, 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 and more heat. I'm not gonna complain. So at Coffee and Tools, we always give us, we give a lot of stuff away. And this is a, this definitely a nice giveaway. I think somebody's gonna really enjoy having that vice in their workbench, yeah. So in the meantime, I gotta get out of here. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell, try to get in on these contests. We give stuff away that we review all the time. And we got more stuff coming in, got some interesting new tools coming in too that uh, should be pretty uh, innovative stuff, yeah. Some cool woodworking and all kinds of crazy stuff. In the meantime, I gotta get out of here. Uh, over and out. <laughs>